this uh, hi everyone ravi this side welcome to engineering gadda so today i'm going to develop the library service here so let me go to the intellij i already have created this library service project and let me start with the development so in the entity class i am going into entity package i'm going to create the library class so i created it and then let me go and let me create the instance here so let me create the id which is of integer type and let me create the library name and address and uh, let me create the id name address and uh, email of the library so let me create that private string email something like that uh, so this for uh, instance variable we have created for the library let me use all argument constructor no argument constructor data and uh, entity okay and let me create the table for it so let's say the table name is library name is equal to library okay so now let me put this as a id okay and it should be generated auto generated so for that i'm going to use the generated value identity the strategy should be identity auto generated generation type is equal to identity so that unique uh, id will be created for it so we are done with the development of the library entity class now coming to the repository let me create the library repo interface here so let me create library repo as a interface okay and let me extend this interface with the jpa repository so let me use the jpa repo here and we need to provide this two arguments here which is a entity so entity is library and the id type of the entity which is of integer type so i'm going to use that so we are done with this now coming to the service class let me create the okay here i think yeah it is already included let me create the service for it so the service is library service okay let me create this and let me annotate this class with the annotation call at the rate service so that we can create the bin out of it now coming here let me create the methods so let me create the method to insert a library object or library record into the database so insert library and let's say its return type is library okay and let me pass here the library as a reference so that we can insert that library reference to the database so to call the database methods i need to auto add the library repository here so i'm going to do that so private library repo and let me create the reference of it so with the help of the library repo i am i will call the jpa provided method which is save and i will pass the reference here so that it can save it and then simply return that so this is about this method method and coming to the other method i'm going to create a get method so simply copy paste it let me get library by id something like that and here i'm going to provide the id so it is in tidy and uh, i will call the jpa provided method which is find by id so and we need to pass the id here and then we need to get it so this is all what we need to do for the service now coming to the controller let me create the controller for it so it is library controller library controller okay let me annotate this controller class with the annotation call at the rate rest controller and at the rate request mapping i'm going to use some mapping here at the class level so let's say it is a library okay now coming here let me create the two methods and before that i'm going to auto add the service 
this library service class reference so that we can directly call the method that we have created there so library service and let me put the modifier for it now let me create the post mapping and uh, let me pass here insert let me create the method for it so insert library something like that or insert lib we have provided here let me its return type should be library type okay and uh, let it make as a public so modifier is a public return type is library and the method name is insert lib and here I am passing the with the help of the request body I will pass the request from the postman so that is why I am passing here the reference of library library object I am passing here and with the help of this library service what I am going to do I am going to call the same method that we have created or insert library method that we have created here let me pass this and just simply return this we are done with the post mapping let me copy it and paste it and let me create the gate mapping here so let's say it is gate mapping and let me this is the library so I'm going to get the library object with the help of the ID and I will pass this ID in the form of path variable so I'm going to use the path variable here let me pass the ID here and with the help of that ID I'm going to call the ID from the database so why this is okay so let me I will check that let me come here and let me call the get library by ID and pass the ID here and let run the library here so insert lib okay this is the name because of that we are getting the conflict let me change this uh, get by ID something like that and uh, okay why we are getting this library to library type okay which okay we are not using the library class that we have created so let me import that class and then it will yeah from entity we need to import it so it will so not it will not sort the error so get uh, library by id okay so we are good with the development of the mappings here now let me create the uh, what i would say let me create some records for each of these uh, services that i have created before going to the record creation let me come here and i'm going to use the MySQL as a database so let me do some configuration I already have this configuration so let me copy this and let me go there and the paste it so come to the library service here I am going to paste it you can see this is the driver name and this is the URL username and password these are these are to show the uh, hibernate SQL query and this is to directly create some database into the uh, into the database when we are running the application so this is about this and I'm going to create one uh, database called library service so let me come here to the MySQL uh, let me name it like library service and let me apply and create it and finish it let me copy this and I'm going to use this database for the library service so come to the library service here and let me replace here and then this is the username and password everything is good now I'm going to make this uh, service to up on the port number 9092 so this is for that okay so we are done with this now let me run this application and then I will show you that a database with the a table with the name called library is created into the database that we have created now so once it is done I will insert couple of record into the book and the library service and then in the next video, we'll try to call each of the uh, services in other, another service. So, with the help of the REST template, so it is. You can see here one uh, create table query is fired because of this only, and we are able to show because uh, we make it true. So this thing is done. Now coming to the MySQL database, let me go to the library service that I have created. 
the database library service so where is that here it is let me go to the table let me refresh this and let me show you that yeah library table is created here come to this come here let me uh, try to run this select star from library you can see this is created so now let me insert couple of records into the book service and the library service and then i will uh, see how the apis that we have created for both of the services is working after that we'll try to call each service inside the other service now let me uh, i have created these services let me come to the postman let me try to insert some record in each of the services that we have created so come here to the book service let's say uh, come to the book service and you can see these are the uh, these are the instance variable that we are going to use so let me come to the uh, postman and here you can see I am going to uh, insert some record into the book service so book service is up on uh, the port number 9093 and the URL for this is book and here if you are going to insert this book service so it is book slash insert and uh, let me change the method to post and come to the book service and these are the instance variable name author and price and id is auto generated so come to the postman name author and price and let me remove this id so these are the let's say author is uh, james okay and these are the price of book so now we are done and this book sir book service we are using the database as a uh, postgresql okay so you can come here and you can see we have already created this now let me select the book service and let me fire some query and then see how it is looking like so you can see this is there let me come here and the book service is up i think yeah the book service is up on the port number 9093 you can see here come to the postman we are uh, done with this thing uh, url and this is the post method and we have created the request now let me send it and let's see how it is working okay book and insert is not found okay come to the book service okay here you can see come to the book controller it is insert uh, i is in small and this is the book yeah so come to the postman again let me make this a small and then try to hit this and let's see how it is working so one uh, book a record is created now you can come here and from here you can also run this query and then see once record is created now coming to the postman let me insert uh, let's say we have only one record here and let me come to the library service let me create one record there into the library service as well so coming to the library controller uh, for library also we have the library and then insert and this application is up on 9092 so let me come to the postman let me change the mapping 9092 it is library and then insert now coming to the instance what we have in the library come to the library entity and then you can see name address and email is there so come to the postman now name address and let's change it to the email and let me say it is Delhi name is uh, Raman library something like that Raman library okay and uh, email is Raman at the rate gmail.com something like that and let me send this and let's see how it is behaving so you can see this is created so uh, let me go to the mysql database let me uh, run this library and then show you so you can see this uh, one record is inserted into the library and one record is inserted into the book database so we are done with the insertion of it in the next video what i'm going to cover is i am going to show you how uh, we are going to call the book service inside the library service and then library service inside the uh, student service so yeah let me 
this is about this video let me cover the next topic into the next video so if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel